we had we had a uh, you know recent you know death in our family, uh, mm-hmm. Apollos, and you know during that time, well, it's only been a week, right? Been just over mm-hmm. a week now. Um, yeah, I think that has been that was a very that was a very hard very hard i think experience for us as a family all together i think we're still you know we're still working through it in the process and we just received his paw print uh mm-hmm. today um they told me they, they called me mo- they, t- yeah, they called me monday and told me that we were able to pick it up and so i just waited <clears throat> told her i just waited and um and i said well let me just go ahead and oh no your mother said two weeks now it's been two weeks yeah um, it'll be yeah, two, weeks two weeks tomorrow. yeah the 13th yeah the 13th will make two weeks and so he passed on the 13th uh, but anyway so and and I, I'll say this, it, it it it's not the same. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's not the same. It's different. Um, you know, you look at certain parts of the house and stuff like that, you know. Um, but as a family member, you know, you would hear people you would hear people talk about, you know, losing a pet and losing, you know, um a beloved animal and things like that until you actually experience it, it's a different thing. So um, how, how, how are you, how have you been able to, you know, work through it and, you know, cause maybe somebody else will be watching this video and, mm-hmm. um, and, and may need that help and that support and encouragement as well too. I know one of the things that helps me is family is, is, is being able to, you know, be with you, be with y'all and, and, um, and then talk about it at times. But I think that first week, man, it was like, we didn't mean, we didn't even go, we, we, we'll talk about the church situation because we didn't have a church to go to anyway, but nonetheless, it was just hard. It was it was yeah. a very hard thing, a very hard time. Um, during that week, it was like the worst because mm-hmm. the day it happened, I was supposed to go to work. Yeah, and I was like, okay, I'll be fine. When I was like, when I was um, sitting next to mom. And Myra was like in the other room. Yeah. With um with you. And all I could hear, like it was like a moment of silence, and all I could hear was Myra let out like um a big yelp, because I knew that that's when it happened. So during that week, I knew like that day I knew like I couldn't go to work because like I actually had to like come to terms with like the fact that he's gone and the stuff that I used to take for granted, like him barking, him whining for no reason. I miss that now because I don't get to see him when I come home or like, and I feel for Kaylin cause when it happened, like, all they remember, all that Madeline and Kayla remember is when they last saw him when he was in the kitchen. So it's like when I think about like Kaylin, it's kind of like um, that was literally like her best friend because she didn't really talk to anybody. Like she was, because like she's homeschooled. So like literally, Apollos was like everything to her. So when that happened, that's when I felt like. I don't know how I'm going to be able to like do this. I can't go to work. Um, and so I text my boss and I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, I can't come to work right now. I didn't even like what happened. And he was like, I totally understand. Like, take the time you need to like grieve with your family. And I took the time and my friends were like so sweet. Like they stopped by, like they checked up on me and it was, it was so sweet, but it was also like the next day I knew I had to go to work. And so in the morning, it's before like everyone always gets there. So like in the morning, I was trying to go. And like when you're sitting in the car by yourself, your thoughts are just like in your mind all the time. And so um, when that happened, I was just driving to work and I was trying to like not cry. And I just kept thinking about him because it was still so like fresh in my mind. And um it was thank god it was sunny that sunny that day because like i was i didn't want to ha- walk in to see her and have everyone see me crying and so i put on my shades i just walked in and i was like okay no one's gonna look at me i'm just gonna keep my shades on and not say anything and so um of course everyone knew what had happened because they were like i'm so sorry and i'm like thank you mm-hmm. and so 
I'm trying, I know I'm going to be fine when right. someone asks me like what happened and I can tell them the story without me crying. Right. And for right now, like it's still, it still like hurts of course, because I loved him and we only had him for like five years and he wasn't even gray yet. So right. I was imagining still having him up until like I was 20 something and he was going to be all gray. And I was still going to come home and sleep and see him. And so it's like the fact when I come down, I couldn't even like go downstairs because his kennel wasn't there anymore. His bed wasn't there. His toys weren't there. So it's like, it's like a constant reminder that like, he's not here anymore. And it comes and goes. It does. I just have to keep like, you know, focusing on, I know he's not in pain anymore. Right. Um, and he was like my first pet and i appreciated him for the time that he was that he was here yeah so yeah it was um it was hard for all of us i know you know when we got home that first day your mother had gathered all his stuff up you know then i had to i had to uh disassemble the kennel had to gather the bed had to you know take all the stuff and the toys and, and it happened on a thursday so you know trash day was friday so when we saw him, sorry. saw him you know that last day um i knew pretty much everything was over when when the trash cu- truck had came and <clears throat> gathered all his stuff so um i mean this is the first time since the you know that week that he had been mm-hmm. gone that i've been been okay but you know it comes and goes uh i was able to uh talk to uh, Mr. Caesar, you, he was helpful. Mm-hmm. He he was very helpful, and uh, he had told me he said, "Man, uh, we had to I had to put you know our dog down because he was you know he was sick as well too and stuff." But you know it, it was a freak accident. It, 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 nobody in our family knew that this would have happened. I mean, we, we, matter of fact, you had got lunch for us that day Wednesday mm-hmm. and stuff, and then you know then the accident had happened. He uh. It was it was nerve damage for people may have wanted to know. Uh he suffered nerve damage <clears throat> and uh it would have taken a lot of care for us to try to uh afford to keep him. We just couldn't. And so uh he was basically limping and couldn't walk uh anymore on his uh left hind leg. So, you know, so we <clears throat> made the decision as a family to uh to go ahead and put him to sleep. And so, you know, as a fan, we had to, you had to make that decision, and uh, it was hard. But you know, by God's grace, we've been uh, we've been dealing with it. Okay, so, but uh, <clears throat> I wish I had a commercial break. <laughs> 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 this is this is one of the times you go to the commercial. But you know, this is uh, this is you know, one of these real conversations, and so it, it happens. But um, let's talk about let's talk about your your. <laughs> no pun intended, but pet peeves. What are some <laughs> things that you don't like? I mean, the things that you know, either either that I do, your mother does, your sisters do, you know, your brothers. What what are some? What are some? Uh... <laughs> <I'm> so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, look, 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 look. Here she is, right here. This one here. Look, y'all. Wait, wait. You are gonna see it in the comments? Here she is. <laughs> no chill at all. Yeah, I'm gonna need y'all to wrap this segment up. Yeah, I know how I am. See, yeah. So, 